Yeah, I, I think one of the uh, most striking things in recent weeks has been when I went into a care home recently, um, the lights were quite dim. Uh, there was a television show and a film on in the corner. There were about two dozen people in the room. 18 of them were either asleep or nearly asleep um, facing the film. But then there were a little group of about half a dozen others. And we got playing with them with some of our adapted ping pong activities and got some different size and different coloured balls, stretchy nets down the sides of the tables, and we gradually got people to play the great game. And um, the clinical psychologist who was there actually, who was observing the people in the room, start moving a chair towards us rather than the people who were asleep. And you could just see the impact of the game, how it was making people interact with each other, chat with each other, hit the ball, have fun, get much more active, and the shame only was when we had to leave at the end because they just absolutely love it. And we just want to be able to do that more in more homes where people can uh, get active rather than just sit and wait for the next cup of tea to be offered to them or the next meal. It, 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 you know, wherever we are in the country, here we are in Nottingham today, but whether we're in Leeds or Bradford or London or wherever, there are literally hundreds of people who are in the same situation. They're being looked after, but they're not being stimulated and they're not really getting up and about and active and they're not getting their body used, they're not using the mind. Uh, some are in a semi-comatose state. It's just not good enough. We've got to do something about it. And this game helps us to do that, most definitely.